Welcome to YouTube Science Communication. Hey guys, my name is Michael. This is going to be my fourth video of maintenance class. And today's topic, I'm going to be talking about Tim Bergen's four questions. Without further ado, let's begin. So who is this Tim Bergen dude? And what are his four questions? Nicholas Tim Bergen was born in the Netherlands in 1907. He was a Dutch biologist who focused the work on ethology. Tim Bergen published his work called The Study of Instinct, where he shared his ideas on animal behavior. Now, I recommend giving it a look, because it's pretty interesting. In 1973, he ended up winning the Nobel Prize in Medicine on the patterns of behaviors in animals. Now let's get to the juicy part. Tim Bergen is well known for his four questions, which are four categories that help explain animal behavior. Some examples of these behaviors are like Atlantic salmon jumping out the river, a bearded dragon waving its hand, a mother carrying a kitten by its neck, a squirrel storing food for the winter, zebras walking together in a herd, a bee, lion, hippo, giraffe, cheetah, even a dog wagging its tail. Now, there are millions of other animal behaviors in the world which makes them unique from one another. But today I'm going to focus on one animal, and that is the horned lizard. Horned lizards are called as horny toads, but they're not really toads or frogs. You can also find them in the western part of North America in the deserts of Arizona. Now, the main reason I chose the horned lizard is because of this cool mechanism where it shoots blood out of its eye. After hearing that, I bet you guys are asking why and how. Let's dive into Tim Bergen's four questions. <laughs> The first part of the questions we're going to look at is mechanism. This question is how the structure works in an organism. In the picture shown is the x-ray of the horned lizard. It has two constricting muscles that surround the major veins around its eye. When they contract, blood is caught off from the heart, but not the head. This floods the ocular sinus with blood while building pressure. When it continues to rapidly contract the muscles, it increases the pressure, rupturing the sinus membrane. This allows the blood to squirt meters away. Think about when you're washing your car with a water hose. When you step on it, the pressure will build up. When you release your foot, a bunch of water will gush out. It's the same thing as a horn lizard's eye. The second part of his four questions is function. This question is why the mechanism occurs. The horn lizard squirts blood out of its eye for two reasons. One is to clean the surface of its eye. The second more important reason is to act as a defense mechanism to predators. Here's a clip from National Geographic to show the defense mechanism in use. It's high octane coyote repellent, AKA blood. Let her rip. Blood pressure builds up to the point where the lizard can actually shoot blood out of its eye. The horned lizard can grow up to be 5 inches. This is evident that it will have a large amount of predators out there. The third part of his four questions is development. This has to do with the changes that an individual goes from the DNA to its current form. Scientists have figured out that the blood squirting is not a learned behavior, it's a genetically programmed defense mechanism. By the age of two, horned lizards become young adults, and by the age of three, they're fully grown. It's still not clear at what age they develop the defense mechanism. Okay guys, last but not least, we have evolution. Evolution is the history of a species and seeing why it adapts to the changes. This is a phylogenetic tree. Scientists use them to see evolutionary history between species of the same family. As seen in the tree, the ones with the blue circles did not obtain the gene. The ones with the red circles did. This means that the gene was acquired and helped the species to survive against predators over time. I hope you guys learned something about horn lizards and how important defense mechanisms are. By being able to use Tibergen's four questions, I was able to look into the horn lizard's defense mechanism. These four questions can be used to answer why and how the behavior came to be. Now I challenge you to apply these questions to other species. Thanks for watching. This video is part of YouTube Science Communication where we learn about the history of life on Earth and make educational videos about them. If you'd like to watch more, hit the subscribe button down below. Or if you'd like to learn to make videos alongside us, visit the Patreon page. Link in the description below. See you guys next time.